Avión 38 9 5 thrives on ignorance. Rationally planned factory. I wear mine at home all the time. Und der Protest geht um die Welt. This could launch my career. Oh, hello. Is your child at risk? Propagator is on the air. In Moscow, Supreme Emperor Vladimir Putin held an elaborate ceremony today presenting 17 independent journalists with Russia's highest award for excellence in investigative reporting. A bullet in his brain! Similar events in Syria and Somalia were relatively low-key. Not to be outdone, North American President Tom Cruise stunned the world when his Pepsi Patrol security escort shot Propagator's own Dale Truman in the head during a live interview. The move is sure to attract plenty of criticism. But, but not from me. I mean, he's the president, right? I fully support him. September 1885, Thomas Edison, in a race against anarchist Nikola Tesla, invents the speaking telegraph and still has the time to electrocute some elephants. One month later, he receives the first pre-recorded election campaign call. I'm Grover Cleveland and I approve this infernal contraption. December 1901. Guillermo Marconi, in a race against communist mastermind Nikola Tesla, achieves the first transatlantic radio broadcast. A morning drive talk show hosted by Larry King. September 1927. Philo Farnsworth, in a race against Nazi pigeon lover Nikola Tesla, produces the most important technical innovation in the history of mankind. The electronic television set. The rest of the 20th century was almost perfect. But something was still missing, until August 1992. Professor Al Gore, in a race against zombie overlord Nikola Tesla, invents the internet. Three years later, he finishes downloading the world's first nudie JPEG. What do these four titans of technology have in common? They were all employees of the great Propagator Media Corporation, the world's only media company since 1885. This has been Revisions of the Past. In COLA news, a new regulation established by the North American Department of COLA requires that a sexy COLA product shot be shown whenever refreshing COLA is mentioned on the air. A spokesperson for the COLA Heritage Foundation hailed the move as a crucial step towards COLA deficit reduction, adding COLA. In business news, tech giant Diamond Industries posted record profits today for the 15th consecutive quarter. The expanding diamond empire is built on a single, wildly successful product. The Zen, spelled with an X, Neuro Calibrate. Planet Earth's leading brand of mood-altering electronic helmet. Thanks to the product's versatility and enormous advertising budget, Zen devices and related accessories now constitute the fourth largest industry in North America, ranking just behind advertising, cola marketing, and government bailouts of the financial sector. All of this despite persistent, unfounded rumors that Zen may cause loss of memories and or personality in a tiny majority of users. These complaints most likely originate from terrorists who just can't stand to see you happy. And now, a word from our sponsor. Don't let bad feelings bring you down. Get Zen! In Washington, the White House is facing intense scrutiny in the wake of the recent on-air shooting of a Propagator news reporter by a member of the presidential Pepsi Patrol, an incident which some feel may affect the president's chances in the upcoming election. <laughs> well, the Attorney General's office released a statement today which details their response to this horrifying abuse of power. According to the document, the Justice Department has already established an elite investigative task force which will, with the aid and cooperation of every government department and agency, work to implement an exhaustive and comprehensive system of cover-ups. <laughs> There's nothing part of the way for me. <laughs> it's just... I'm Gavin Steele. I'm Kenneth Chetwick. And I'm Chris Walters. That was the news. You can thank me later.